Hello and welcome to the short Vort on Parsha's bow. Hashem did not give the Torah to Malachi Asher, Asher Hashem didn't give the Torah to angels. We don't have to be perfect. And therefore, even a small accomplishment is appreciated by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This Dvar Torah, the short Vort, is adopted from Rabbi Elimelech Biederman's Dvar Torah from uh, 5781. The Medra says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu swore to Avram Avinu that eventually he will redeem his descendants from the Gullahs, out of Mitzrayim. And now, in Parsha's bow was a time that was ripe for that deliverance. However, they didn't have any mitzvahs to hang the merits on. Therefore, Hashem gave the Bnei Israel two mitzvahs. They gave him the Birch Mila, the uh, circumcision for, for the young boys, as well as uh, Korban Pesach, being the, the sacrifice of the Korban Pesach. When these two merits, they were redeemed. The Chavetz Chaim asked, how is it that in the environment where they were at 49 levels of impurity, that just a mere two mitzvahs were able to take the Bnei Yisrael out of the Gullahs? He says that specifically because they had no other merit, because they were so low, that the, doing these two mitzvahs stood out. They were more precious, they were more noticeable by Hashem. Rabbi shares a story about the Chafetz Chaim that illustrates this point. It was once a young Bachar came to Radin to visit the Chafetz Chaim, and he was looking for counsel, looking for blessings, and when the great sage spoke to this Bachar, so he told them, I remember years ago in Russia, Russia was a wealthy country, so wealthy that if someone lost some silver, they didn't even bother because it was so easy to get money, it just went on. Now Russia is, is in poverty. It's poor. And therefore, even a copper coin, something less valuable than silver, if it's lost, they won't leave without it. Kind of think like even for a penny, they would go and pick it up because they were so poor. There was a time when in the Bnei Yisrael, were in Eretz Yisrael, they had the base Mikdash, the Holy Temple. They had the service of the Kohanim and the Levium. They were spiritual wealth. And at that point, just doing a mitzvah regular wasn't so valued because it was commonplace, thankfully. But now we are in a period where we're in a very low spiritual level, and therefore every mitzvah is precious to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Hashem appreciates each small deed that we do, even a simple mitzvah. And he goes on to further and says that that even the, the mire of, of a bacha, when he davens, that is precious and praised in heaven. There's a footnote to this story because that comment uh, that I just shared from the Chafetz Chaim is the boy had come late to Rodin at night and he was tired and he fell asleep without praying the evening service. He didn't dive in Marv, which meant that he had to uh, make up a, a second Shmon Esrei during Shachus in the next morning. But he, he was so tired and when he woke up, he forgot that, that he, he skipped Marv. So Chafetz Chaim, when he mentioned this, reminded the boy that he had an obligation to fill. Such was the power of uh, what Hashem shares with our, our tzaddikim. So the Chafetz Chaim, who added that we were redeemed with the merit of these two mitzvahs because it was a time of immense spiritual poverty. And every good deed means so much. We too are surely in a, in a period of spiritual poverty where morally and spiritually the world has declined, in decline. And perhaps we're even in the 50th level of Tumah. Now, in Egypt, they couldn't get it out of if they had been in the 50th level of Tumah, they would not have been able to get out. What is the difference? The Arachim is Machadesh. He explains that that was before Matan Torah. But now that we have the power of Matan Torah, we are able to get out even from the 50th level. So remember that today, in the spiritually low level, every mitzvah, even the smallest mitzvah, is, is magnified and appreciated by Hashem. So we don't have to be perfect. We just have to do things. Do a mitzvah, do a chesed. Thank you for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.